Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is KP. Next week, the kids go on spring break, so I am getting prepared. I'm making some breakfast burritos, sausage, bacon, eggs, and cheese. So I'll make these up and freeze them so they'll be ready for next week. When I tell you this is such an easy breakfast meal prep, my kids can just go in the freezer, grab one, and heat it up. Okay, let me start with the bacon. I cooked this bacon in the air fryer, so I couldn't chop it up before time. Um, so that's what I'm doing now, just chopping up the bacon into smaller bite-sized pieces. For this meal prep, I really did not measure how much I would need of anything. I end up cooking 58 eggs, um, three packs of bacon, and four packs of Jimmy Dean hot sausage. Right now, what I'll do is just mix everything together in that big bowl, and then I'll start making the burritos. And y'all, a tip, if your cutting board is sliding around, get you a wet dish towel or a wet paper towel and put under it so it'll stop moving. Meal prepping is a great way to get ahead. I'm busy. The kids are on spring break, but I'm not. So I need options so that I don't have to be cooking every morning. Um, they'll have options of breakfast burritos, cereal. They can choose. Also, they'll have muffins, fruit, different options. I like to wear gloves when I'm preparing this just because my hands just all over everything. And I don't play about fingernails. But anyway, let's mix these eggs in. Normally when I make these, I mix the salsa in the eggs when I cook them. Today I decided to mix the salsa in the mixture just because I want to add moisture so whenever they warm them up, it won't be as dry. But that salsa elevated these. It took them to another level. So what I'm doing is just making sure I have a about an equal balance of each since I didn't measure. I was stirring and then I said, well, I know all the eggs going in, all the sauces going in. I just wasn't sure about the bacon. So. At this point, I could tell, okay, I have enough sausage. I'm definitely going to add the rest of the eggs and then I need more bacon to make sure I have bacon, eggs, and sausage in every bite. I recently started meal planning. I tried it before, I was not successful. But I have a new home binder, a new setup that I'll be sharing later on on my channel. And it has really helped me get my life in order. Between me, my kids, and my husband, we now hold family meetings. Uh, we have daily tasks, we have a cleaning schedule, 
meal plan, I mean, a workout schedule, life is very different when you put effort into it. And I love it. Okay, mothers, have you noticed that your light is what dictates the mood for your whole household? I feel like my family looks at me and, and try to judge my mood. And depending on my mood, that's just is, is how their day go. So I always try to make sure that I am the light in my home, that I'm shining bright so that my family can shine bright. I usually start everything. I started the family prayer, the family meetings, this home binder. Normally, it takes us to get things started. So as a mother, I just want to remind you, mother and wife or whatever, always be the light in your home. Y'all, I know I've been chopping on this bacon forever. I think I'm going to speed it up just so we can get through it. All right, now we'll add some cheese. I end up using the whole bag. You'll also see in a minute, I got tired of cutting up that bacon. So I just went off camera, broke it all up with my hand on top. So you'll see it in just a minute. Okay, now I have everything in there except the salsa. Of course, you know, I did not measure with that salsa either. I just poured a little bit until I thought it was enough, but it does not take a lot. If I had to give an amount, I would say maybe half a cup. Now I'm just mixing everything in and then I'll start assembling the burrito. I will say one thing I'm bad about is overstuffing these burritos. Sometimes I'll put too much and it'll bust. That first one I did, one of them I did, I threw it away. But after that, I'm not throwing them away. That, that's money. So what I'm doing is just wrapping this into a burrito the best I can. And then I wrap them in that plastic wrap. Oh yeah, FYI, wash your hands, wash your gloves while you cooking because you're touching different surfaces. I sanitized that counter and everything before I got started. But remember what C-O-V-I-D taught us? Wash them gloves and sanitize them gloves too. Okay, this is where I busted the burrito. I put too much and then I was going to try to double wrap it. And that was just too much. So I took it out and I threw that first one away. But after that, I said, I'm not throwing any more away. I mean, I never throw them away before. Um, I just tried to be careful and not stuff them too much.
great value. Y'all know y'all wrong for cutting these bags like this. Y'all messed up my whole box of bags. You will see they got a cut line going across the bag, the clear part, and you can just rip it straight across. So with this set of bags, they won't work for the freezer because they rip every time. Okay, I think I'm gonna speed it up and put together a few more. Y'all, if I'm being completely transparent right now, we recently moved into a home. This was a blessing from God. And we decided to start over. Me and my husband, we got rid of everything. All the furniture, everything. And we started over. So now the house is empty. And we are getting it back piece by piece. We doing this by choice. It's not our first time. But sometimes when God puts you in a transition... You know, you have to do certain things. And so later on, we will have a testimony. But as of right now, I don't have a stove. I used my air fryer. I have a griddle. I have a deep fryer. And I have a, um, a little electric stove that I use for right now. And then in the next two weeks, I have a stove coming. But as of right now, I don't even have a stove. So I just want to encourage you, do what you have to do, even if it's by choice. You know, we chose to get rid of everything and start over new. So live your life how you want to live your life without any regrets. Because this new beginning is such a blessing from God. I feel so good, so, so good about it. And my husband just received an opportunity of a lifetime. And this opportunity was handpicked just for him by God. And we know that. Another thing I want to add, so many women want high value men, but I've been with my husband. We've been together a total of 22 years and they don't start out high value as teenagers. You know, my husband has built himself up over time. He has a resume now that is amazing. You know, so that's another thing I want to encourage ladies. Don't give up. You got to pray and ask God for that husband. But we're at a point now where um, things are so different. I used to be stressing out in times like this, but now we are working together. God has shown me so much when I started working on myself and now I understand so much. When I tell you the level of crazy faith that I have had to show in my husband, that's why we are so blessed the way we are. Because God is, is real and, and God is so good. You just have to, have to seek God. Okay, I'm getting close to finishing up. In the end, I did a total of 48 48 burritos, but let me say that I, I cooked the sausage and some of the eggs last night, and my son did get up and eat some of it this morning. So if you cooked everything that I cooked, you would probably end up with a few more. Okay, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. That helps my channel grow. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Again, thank you for watching, and you have a blessed day.